Hello, this is a video for bass only, for bass players only. We're gonna do the pizzicato of A and D. How do we do that? How will we do pizzicato open G? And our first notes that we're learning in class, D, E, F sharp, and G, okay? So when you do the pizzicato, only open D, you keep your left hand down here. And your right hand, you're gonna do the pizzicato. You have two ways that you can do it. You can either set your thumb here at the bottom and use your index to do the plucking. A is the second string closest to you, to your body. So this is not, this is the first one. So you go to the second one. This is your A, okay? And the next one is your D, okay? The, the second one closest to you is A, and the third is D. Another way you can do pizzicato is you use your thumb. So you set in the other side, and you go up, up front of the strings, you put your fingers here, and you use your thumb, okay? So the second one, the one in the outside, this is your D, okay? Not the really first one, is right here, D, and your A is this one, okay? So you can do it either way, you can use it with your thumb, D, will be the one in this side, the second one, and your A is the third one. And if you use your thumb here, with, with your index, it will be A, this one, and D. So these two in the middle are your A and your D string. A is closest to you, and the D is more in the outside of your instrument. So this is for your D and the A. Okay, I prefer to do the index, it works better for me. Okay, you can do it either way. Okay, you can do it either way. So, now, that's all for our first open D and open A. But now we're doing play position four, which is having our hand up here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to see that a little bit. Okay, this is play position four. Okay, I keep my, instead of having my left hand resting here, you're gonna bring it up here to the highest part of your uh, fingerboard, you should have like a thumb pillow right here. That's where you place your thumb. And look at my head. I don't have my elbow touching my instrument. I don't have my hand like wrist like this. And my fingers kind of squeezing the fingerboard. I have to have my hand separate, making like a claw. Like this, okay? So you make it a claw and you put it here. You see my elbow? So I'm gonna be plucking over my D string which is this, block in my D, look at my play position four, play position three, play position four. You see my elbow, never doing this, never like leaning on the instrument, okay? Look, this elbow is not touching this, it's separate all the time, my elbow's out of way, okay? All right, we've got to keep it separate all this, okay? No, don't have it in the back, have it separate. Look at that elbow, okay? Now, look at, that's the D. Okay, and when you learn how to do your play position four, I'm getting closer so you can see them together. Okay, this is your D. Okay. Over the D string, then we have tapes. You're gonna set over the D string. Imagine that uh, you only have D and you're gonna be pressing fingers on the string. So that tape that you have there is for your finger one, your index. You keep your thumb in the thumb pillow and you're gonna put your finger one over the D string and you're gonna press gonna press that and that will give you a different note. So I'm gonna plug D, but it give you a different sound. That's your E. So if I lift it, it's my regular D. But if I press it with the finger one there, it's an E. Okay? You gotta step on the tape. If you step here, it sounds different. It sounds different. You gotta be right on the tape. Okay? Right on the tape. Let me see if you can see it. Okay? Then we're gonna have our next note. We're gonna put all the fingers down. We're still on the D string. And we're gonna put all the fingers down. And you're gonna get all of them, including the pinky. But my pinky is gonna be stepping on the following tape. And that gives a different note as the F sharp. Okay? Okay, look at that. Maybe I'll move the camera a little bit higher so you can see it. You see it? Okay, so I have my E. And then when I put all my fingers down, they give me an F sharp. Okay? E, and then the open D. You see? So we have play position four, 
Then I place my finger one over the E. Okay, I give me an E. And then I put all fingers down and my pinky has to be on the tape. Not here, not after, it gotta be on the tape. Okay, that's your F sharp. And the next note you're gonna be learning is open G, which is the last one away from you. You see? That one is the farthest away from you, that's G. Okay, all these instruments they have to set a finger down. You don't, you have to play just open. Okay, so let's start over. So we have play position four with my thumb here, my elbow high, I block my D. And here on the open D, I'm gonna set my finger one on the tape that give me a different note is E. And then I put all fingers down over the D and give me an F sharp. Look at my elbow, I still keep my elbow back. I'm not gonna keep it closed, okay? And then I move all my finger to open to the other finger, to the G. And then I come back to my F sharp, put them all again on D, again on the D, and then the finger one on the E, and then open the E. And these are your new notes, D, E, F sharp, open G, and then F sharp, E, open D, okay? You know, so we have the plucking of the open D, open A, and the D, E, F sharp, and G, you know, especially for bass. Hope you help, I hope this helped.